Well, back here at home, the Berkman 2 building is scheduled to come down at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning, finally happening this weekend. So we're learning a little bit more about what's going to go up in its place. Now, you may remember a part of the structure collapsed in 2007, leaving one man dead. Members of the city council say the building is a stain on the history of Jacksonville, and they're excited to have something better built in its place. Councilman Reggie Gaffney says the space will be mixed use, so it will include apartments, condos, and stores. We got uh, multi-use coming here where you got re you got townhouses as well as apartment upstairs and you, and you got retails and other stores to the bottom. Uh, I think the city of Jacksonville going to be delighted when they take a look at what the uh, riverfront properties have put together. So that implosion is set to take place 10 o'clock Sunday morning. But let's look at how this is going to impact the traffic in that area for Sunday morning. So they have the exclusion zone where no one will be allowed inside this zone. Those street closures will begin at 7 a.m. on Sunday with the implosion, of course, scheduled for 10. Now the exclusion zone is basically Market Street out to the west, Adam Street, just north of the jail there, Adam Street to the north, and then over towards the east, just east of the Maxwell House plant. But the exclusion zone also includes the water here of the St. John's River in front of the Berkman, too. So if you were going to watch it by boat, remember the exclusion zone does include the water in front of the Berkman as well. So those streets inside the exclusion zone, which are basically Liberty Street, Bay Street, parts of Marsh Street, that's going to close at 7 a.m. and those closures will remain in place until debris that's on on the roadway has been cleared, so they don't have a time frame on when they will reopen. It's just once they can make sure those streets are cleared.